right, Coach, this is Coach Coltar coming back to you from North Carolina. I want to welcome you back to the 92 Mesh Group channel. Uh, tonight I thought we would talk a little bit about uh, one of my favorite third down plays, and uh, that's the shallow. But before we do that, I just want to thank everybody for, uh, you know, subscribing to the channel. And if you would, you know, drop a like down in, down on the video and a comment, you know, so that we can, we can grow the channel so more and more people can get involved. I'm really excited about some of the guests um, videos that we're going to have coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, a lot of guys have expressed some interest in doing videos. And you just let me tell you once again, you know, if you, if you have an idea but you don't have time to run a channel and you just want to do a video and you want to share um, hey, hit me up. Hit me up on Twitter. Shoot me an email at uh, Coach Coltharp at 92MeshGroup.com and, and I can, um, you know, get with you and do some things. And, and you know, I'm always looking to, to, you know, to not only help myself but help other coaches. And, and matter of fact, if you look down right next to me, you will see that um, I have a tyke. And uh, if, you, if you get a chance, check out uh, Coach Steven Jackson and I'll have his uh, information down in the video so you can see it. But Coach Jackson makes these tykes and, and they're pretty cool and and if you comment in the video today I will pick two of you guys to get free tykes from Coach Jackson compliments of uh, 92meshgroup.com uh, you know I, I just really I really like the idea and I reached out to him and, and him and I you know talked and, and I purchased a couple of tykes and I just told him I just thought I would share it you know and pay it forward so you know if you would like to have a tyke like this right here you know just uh, comment on the video below. We'll pick a couple of you guys, and I'll get you in touch with Coach Jackson, and he'll he'll uh, customize you a tyke. Uh, he, you know, you can have a polo or a uh, a pullover, and different different you know Adidas, Nike, Under Armour. Uh, he'll put your school colors in it, you know, the logo and everything, and it's pretty cool. So if you want a, a Twitter avatar or something like that, um, you can you can do that. So you know, just comment on the video below, and we'll be picking in the next couple of days. Um, I tell you, well, we'll pick by Friday. Um, who who's going to get the free types? And then if you'd like to have a type of your own, or if you want to do something with him, um, you know, hit him up on Twitter, man. He's a pretty cool guy, and really excited about that. You know, and always want to help coaches who are trying to do some things to further the community. All right, all that being said, let's get into the video today. So, like I said, one of the best things, uh, one of my favorite plays on third down, believe it or not, is shallow. Shallow to me is a pretty good play. Because it has some man and some zone attacking principles. And, and then stay tuned after I get done talking because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some cut-ups in and, and we'll talk over the cut-ups. I got some Oklahoma State stuff that we'll look at. But, you know, without getting into too many particular deals, you can do some different things with shallow. I like to put peaks on the outside of shallow. I know a lot of people will put posts on there automatically. Um, we used to do that. We would go shallow dig, post, and, you know, if we shallow this way, we would dig. And then we would post, and you know it, change, it trades the eyes up. But I, I like to leave the peaks and, and, and save the home run tag for later on. Um, and if you haven't had a chance to check out some tag videos, Coach Chris Renfro out of uh, Kentucky did three really good videos for us. If you haven't checked those out, check those out. Um, I'll put the link in the video. Um, that bluegrass tag series is pretty pretty good stuff, uh, especially his cop tag. I like, and um, you know a little bit of the sluggo stuff too. But but on third down, I really like that shallow. And Particularly, I like to run it to the wide side of the field. Um, H, for us, is always a more of a wiggle guy, and Y is more of a tight end guy. So, you know, I, I like the fact that you get this, you know, you kind of get a possession route with that hunt or dig. You know, we, we tell him dig, but really it is a hunt route. You know, he's going to come in and, 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 and try to find that space at about 10 yards. So if it's third and seven, third and eight, that's a pretty good route right there. Um you're going to get a free swinging back right here, which kind of pulls the linebackers out on that deal. And, and the one thing that I would, sell, would, would tell you is this is the only route in the air raid where I allow somebody to call for the ball. And the back is allowed to call ball on this play. You know, any other time I, I, I'll get into a kid's high parts a little bit about calling for the ball. Um, but if, if he gets out here and sees that nobody's with him, he can yell ball, 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 ball. And we kind of train the quarterbacks when we teach shallow. If you hear that, you know, go ahead and, and, and open your hips and get it to the back right now. But, you know, what we're doing is we're reading peak first. And and there are some tags on this. You can you can tag an out or a post and, you know, all, all those little things that you want to do. Um, and, and you can kind of read it like Coach Leach reads it, honestly. If you, you know, we talked about 92 Cougar before, you know, running those those 10 yard outs and then putting the shallow underneath. I mean, you still got the middle of the field, you know, option if you if you're not a good mesh team. 
but you want to run kind of that concept, you know, shallow is, is, is a pretty good play. And I will tell you, the first year I ran the air, the air raid, we didn't run mesh. And, and look, I'm a mesh guy. I mean, I got a mesh tattoo. I mean, just, I love mesh, but we just weren't good at it. But shallow was something that gave us a crossing route. And then the next year we did that. So, you know, on third down, especially, we love the shallows. If you get man, man, I really like outside shallows versus man coverage. Um, it, it just it just gives you a, a better option, I think, sometimes than, than trying to beat people deep. And, and, you know, just like we always talk about, we talk about route replacing. If we run X, then H can, can do the same things right there. Um, you can also run it out of two back. Let me get my little um, towel here. Um, you can run it out of two back if, if you're more of a 20 personnel team. You know, and some of us, uh, you know, in college, we used to joke all the time that the secretary called all the plays. And uh, we would go into our Thursday meeting or Friday meeting, and, and our coach would be like, all right, guys, uh, who wants to guess what the first play was? And, and inevitably, it would always end up being like what we call 57 sprint draw, which was a sprint draw play for us. Um, and, we, and so we kind of figured out that, that Miss Sue's wheel kind of would get stuck on sprint draw. So if you're a two-back draw guy on third and long, that's not a bad deal. But you can run it here, and, and you know, H can run, the, can run the hunt, or he can run the shallow. So if you're a two-back guy because you want to keep that, you know, that draw look in there, you know, you can do that as well on shallow. So, like I said, you know, shallow is just a good third down play for me. You get you get this guy running in space. You tell that shallow guy, look, don't turn up the field until you get to the numbers. And, and you get a, a guy running, you know, a guy running in open grass. You know, hopefully, you know, if you get a cover two look, you can throw it in the hole right there. So, there's just a lot of different answers with shallow. So, hopefully, this kind of helps you a little bit, gives you a couple of uh, a couple of ideas, uh, you know, when the video pops, I, you know, Lord willing, I'll be in Greensboro at our, at our state coaches clinic. I'm going to try to do some vlog interviews and things up there for the channel while I'm there. And if you're at the clinic, you know, hit me up on Twitter or, or whatever, and let's, let's get together. I know a couple of guys that I know have already talked about it. Um, but, you know, like I said, I just really can't thank you guys enough. We're going to have a, a, a nice special on the, the total air race system coming up. Um, got a couple of giveaways. There's about... 11 of the 50% off coupons left, I think, out of the original 25. So if you still haven't gotten your system and you've been thinking about it, the system will never be as cheap as it is when we at, at this sale. Um, so, you know, if you use that code 1K for the 92, it's going to give you 50% off and that'll get you the system for $50. And like I said, it's three and a half hours of stuff, downloadable resources, form access, and stuff like that. I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, you, you'll pay $65 to go to Carolina's clinic for the weekend and maybe remember one or two things. This is lifetime access to, to all the air raid materials and stuff like that. And so, like I said, man, once again. All right, coaches, here we go looking at a couple of the clips. Uh, here we have uh, Oklahoma State kind of running the, the shallow cross, and, and you will see as they move through, they're going to run H shallow. And like we were talking about how if you're not a really good mesh team and, and you wanted to um, – you know, to to bring in some of that that leech idea with that cougar. Watch how Oklahoma State just turns their peak into an out, and, and down here at the bottom with uh, with their with their Z, they're gonna run this little out right there in the grass, and, and, and you know, such an easy throw for the quarterback. Um, you know, a lot of us got guys who can make that throw, but you know, in college is a little bit easier. The hashes aren't quite as far, but you know, this is a big time throw for this kid. You know, finding the grass, but you can see. The tight end right here kind of getting in there, hunting, hunting himself down. The shallow's coming through, but the quarterback stays on that first read there and, and gets to the and gets to the grass. And here you kind of see his footwork. You know, he's opening up right now to his peak, and he sees it, and he's like, yo, I'm going to go ahead and take it right now. He, he, he knows from the very beginning that he's got a, a off safety. Um, so, you know, imagine if this is, you know, third and eight, third and nine. You know, they're thinking deep route, and they've been seeing the peak the whole time. And this is the reason why you don't, um, you know, you don't tag post every time. Give that guy an opportunity to do something different. And, and right here he just sees grass. He works himself outside, and, it, and it's a pretty good play there. So, you know, like I said, that that's that's a really good look at right there from uh, Oklahoma State. All right, let's look at them again. This one is the one versus Texas, and you'll see them down here at the bottom. Now they're in a they're in a two back look right here. You know, they're in they're in hero flip, and and, and they're gonna work towards it. And you'll see them right now. Now that the, now the H 
is going to run the dig. They're still running the shallow, but look at the shallow down here. You know, third, you know, this is on first down for them, but imagine if it's third and seven, third and eight. This guy's hips are flipped. Um, H does a good job of getting the outside linebacker to run with him. It's, you know, and then bang. And that's a nine yard pickup just on a little shallow route. That's, you know, it's like stealing money. And then what they do with the back is they kind of do a little replace there. So, you know, you can play with it a little bit, but you notice how that replace, that replace does a good job of holding this guy. So, you know, if he runs out here, really what you want to do is kind of sit and get wide. So he'll come to him and then that opens up that middle hole right there. But that's a good job, you know, right there by Oklahoma State. Good play design. And you can see, you know, even, even from the H position, this guy is going to outside release right here. And, um, you know, just kind of take that guy with him. And, it, you know, and that's easy money right there for, uh, for Oklahoma State. And the last one that we're going to look at today is, is Penn State, uh, Michigan State. Let me get it big for you right again. And here you go. You see Penn State right now. They're in, they're in Hero or Halo right here. And it's the same thing. But now they're going to run the shallow with the H. And we'll look at it a little bit better from the from the backside, but you can see how that just really opens up the the dig. Here comes H on the little shallow route. The linebackers, I'm sitting here pointing like you guys can see it, but the linebackers are running with that shallow route, and bang, here comes the dig. You know, right here again from the from the end zone copy. You know, he and, and you know it doesn't have to be a perfect route. I mean, watch this right here. He's not necessarily going to run to ten and break it hard. He's going he's gonna to take that release. He gets inside. He's getting the grass, you know, his best way to grass at his depth. But you can see these guys' eyes are right here. One, two, three. This shallow occupies three defenders. Quarterback's just going to throw it to grass. And then, you know, the purpose of the air raid is to get the ball to people who can score in space. And that's what they do here. So it's good play design by, by – uh, by uh, Penn State. And so, like I said, guys, you know, you, you don't have to be you don't have to be like uber complicated in this deal. Get good at what you do. Rep the plays, you know, keep your offense simple. And then, as always, spin it to win.